Hi, YouTubers. Thank you very much for joining me. Praying desperately for rain for Texas. Well, they got more than they needed. The latest flood warning is for Henderson County. Here you can see Dallas, Athens, Shreveport, etc. It's going to extend until about 2.30 p.m. local time. This latest flood warning includes Athens, Texas, Gun Barrel City, Texas, Chandler, Texas, and like I said, it's until 2.30 p.m. today. Here's an image of one of the main interstates there last night in downtown Dallas. Some areas got up to 10 inches of rain. The rain started on Sunday evening as part of a multi-day heavy rain event in northern Texas with two to five inches of rain expected while well, some areas got 10. This image is one of the uh, interstates there as of 9.17 a.m. Um, 6.35 LBJ. Supposedly in Dallas, almost eight inches of rain was recorded in just three hours. LDC school is currently telling people that they are closed. The school evidently was flooded. An image there at the interstate, this car was floating tail and up, and you can see this other one was submerged. Nearly 10 inches of rain was recorded on the east side of Dallas. More likely, this will be recorded as the wettest August on record for Dallas. The rain is expected to shift towards the lower Mississippi Valley, later this week according to the weather service this here is an image of one of the roads um there in arizona yeah this is water splashing dallas fort worth international airport is experiencing arrival and departure de delays that are supposedly up to 30 minutes the uh, delay time is expected to increase according to airline tracker incoming flights are being held at their port of origin until at least 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. More than 130 flights have been canceled and at least 550 delayed. There is evidently over 44 streets there in Dallas where emergency, you know, the street lights are flashing, advising people not to go through. Another image of um, Arizona, the water going across the roads. A rescue of a bus and the children being carried off the bus um, to nearby vehicles when their bus was washed off the road. Here's another image of that car that was floating tail end first and the other car. Regardless of whether a warning is in effect at the time, avoid flooded areas. Here's some people being rescued from a flooded car. Most importantly, never ever attempt to drive through a flooded stretch of road or drive around barriers saying the road is closed ahead due to flooding. As of 5 a.m. today, between 10 p.m. last night and 5 a.m., police in Fort Worth, Texas responded to 53 water-related emergencies. Another image of a submerged car. Turn around, don't drown. Evidently, as of 7 a.m. Central Daylight Time, the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport uh, reported that they have received 7.17 inches of rain. And that was within 24 hours. Fox News had an image of estimated rainfall within the last 24 hours. You can see 5, 1, 6, 7, and 8. There is one eight area of 8 inches, and that would be down here. According to statistics from the National Weather Service, this is the fifth heaviest 24 rainfall on record in the Metroplex in at least 122 years. This here is from a clip from this morning. Evidently, there is homes. Reportedly, they got two feet of water in some of their homes. Yeah, and there's someone trying to drive through this stuff. Do not drive through flooded waters. This evidently is from Mystique. Texas. Sending prayers. So what are your thoughts? Please put those down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.